Do you need to have a strong background in programming, informatics, development, statistics, machine learning, artificial intelligence to become a computational linguist? I've been getting this sort of questions quite a lot lately on my Instagram and here on YouTube and in this video I wanted to address this question. Frankly, I don't think I'm the perfect person to talk about it, given my very limited experience in computational linguistics. But also I think there is not enough information about it on YouTube and internet. So I decided to record this video to address these questions and maybe to ignite some conversations if we get the attention of more experienced linguists so we can have interesting chats in the comments. After I majored in linguistics, I decided not to pursue linguistics and transition into development instead. So I was looking for a developer's role when I got invited to interview for a computational linguist position. I got very curious about it, decided to give it a try and eventually got an offer. And when I got the offer, at that point of time, I didn't have any machine learning or artificial intelligence experience. None. I actually started taking a machine learning course a while I was uh, already doing the job. It wasn't something required. No one made me to. It's just the manager who hired me, he recommended to get some familiarity with fundamentals and main concepts of machine learning so I can have a better idea of what Siri is and what machine learning is. But Yes, I took the course, I found it super curious, interesting and helpful, but I cannot say that it affected my ability to perform my responsibilities anyhow. And many people around me on that team did not have a lot of experience in machine learning or artificial intelligence. Yes, of course, many of those people had some familiarity, they knew some fundamentals, some basics, but they were not the people who developed the algorithms or worked so close with the algorithms that they needed to know how to build them. From what I've observed, computational linguists are not required to have a strong background in machine learning and AI because computational linguists are not the ones to build the algorithms that are going to be used for language processing. Quite often, computational linguists are the one to refine the linguistic sources. So it is about handling and improving the data that is going to be fed to the algorithms. And uh, which is why, as a computational linguist, you'd better know other tools that can help you uh, be better at handling and refining the data. For instance, at my job, it was essential to know how to work with Git version control or also to have some experience with bash commands because it's only through terminal that you could access certain linguistic data. And uh, also having experience with Python was a great asset because you could automate some of your tasks by writing a Python script or also you could use Python regex to uh, search through a big data set of linguistic data. While computational linguists tend to have more academic and research-oriented background, language engineers have more practical experience in developing applications that have to do with natural languages. So language engineers focus on the application of computational linguistics in software development and engineering. So the requirements for language engineers may vary and they can be more technical as software development skills and just generally speaking, more technical skills can be in high demand for language engineers. If you are a language engineer watching this video right now, then share your experience with us. Tell us what is the most important technical skill to develop for aspiring language engineers. So I didn't have a strong background in machine learning, AI, statistics, data engineering, neither of those. But something that did come in handy was my web development experience. Uh, because on that team, I got a chance to build internal web applications and tools for other linguists and language engineers. And I must say, this is also not a requirement to have web development experience. Most of the linguists did not have that, though we did have a handful of people who had some understanding of web development, CSS, 
uh, JavaScript, HTML, and they also used this knowledge to improve their workflows and the workflows of their colleagues. When you learn web development, it is unavoidable for you to learn about Git version control and GitHub in particular. And when I joined the team, of course, my knowledge of GitHub was super useful to me as a web developer, of course, and as a linguist. So I would say that the technical tools that I used in technical experience that was the most useful for me was Python, GitHub, and Terminal. But also from what I've heard, many people learned all of these things on the job. So on our somewhat small TTS team, we had linguists with different backgrounds. Some of us were more research and natural language oriented. Some of us were more about data engineering, machine learning, and web development. So it is really hard to see what's a hard requirement, uh, something that needed just for everyone. And I guess it can also be different for other teams. Like if you go to ASR or NLP, NLU, or other teams. So if you're looking for a piece of advice, then I would recommend just analyzing job postings. Go to LinkedIn or other websites with job postings and just go through some of them, uh, read through the requirements, the skills that they want, uh, maybe analyze the keywords, most common keywords that they use, the trends, to get some idea of the field and the requirements in it. Of course, there are different kinds of computational linguists and language engineers because there are different applications to develop. But by going through these job postings and doing this research, you can get some idea of the field and of the main skills that they want from applicants today. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat unprepared video inspired by a comment on my channel. If so, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. And let's chat in the comments. See you guys later.